a quick introduction to using Pascal's triangle to expand binomials. So suppose you need to raise x plus 2 to the fifth power. You could use the FOIL method to multiply that out, but that's very tedious, and so we're going to use another method. So the trick goes like this. Uh, jot down a 1. Uh, under the 1, put two more ones like this. Make a little triangle. Well, now what we're going to do is start to generate a pattern. The next row of the triangle looks like this, 1, 2, 1. Well, where did the 2 come from? It's because the two ones that are in this row two here, added together, they make two. And what you do is you just continue to write ones down the side of the triangle. I don't know, like, like a bunch of geese flying toward the top of the screen. Um, and so the next row, you just continue this pattern with the ones. There's the, the uh, upside down V here, uh, the ones kind of flying like geese upward. And here we get one, three, three, one. Well, where did the three come from? Well, it's because one plus two makes three and two plus one makes three. Well, you just continue with this pattern and eventually you'll build up this triangle and you could keep going forever. We're gonna quit here though at this blue row. Uh, and the reason is because we're raising this thing to the fifth power and you can think of the first row, the one at the very top being like the zeroth order for this triangle. Then we have first order, second order, third order, fourth order, and here we are at fifth order with the blue numbers. What you do is you take these blue numbers and use them as coefficients in our expansion of this binomial x plus 2 to the fifth. So here are these future coefficients of this uh, binomial that we're going to expand into a fifth order polynomial. And what you do is with the two terms in the binomial, you follow a pattern like this. The first term is raised to the fifth power. The second one raised to the zeroth power. You notice the sum of the two exponents is five. Well, then you just reduce the exponent on the first term on the x by one and raise the exponent on the second term by one. And you just continue with this pattern across the board. So we'll populate those in. And you notice on the far right, we now have x to the zeroth power times two to the fifth. Well, so that actually does it. Now all we need to do is simplify. And so let's do that. And so you get this. Uh, x to the fifth is the first term. We get a 10 here because you have five times two. Um, in this next term, we get a 40 because you have 10 times two squared. Uh, and in the next term, you get an 80 because you have 10 times two cubed, which is eight. Well, 10 times eight is 80. Uh, in this term, you get another 80 because you have five times two to the fourth. Well, two to the fourth is 16. So 16 times five will give you 80. And then finally, we get a 32 because that's two to the fifth. Um, the point being here though, any binomial, um, and we just quit here because we went to the fifth power, but what you do is you generate this triangle called Pascal's triangle and pull off these coefficients uh, as I've shown, and then enter the terms in the, in the, from the binomial with the exponents changing in this pattern, right? So this pattern actually works for complex numbers as well. Notice we basically here have a binomial that's being raised to the fourth power. And so what we'll do is we'll generate Pascal's triangle again. Um, zeroth order, first order with the one, 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 two, one would be quadratic, one, three, three, one would be cubic. And here we have a quartic or fourth order polynomial. Um, so we'll have one, four, six, four, one. What you do is you use those as your coefficients. So notice I've underlined them here, left them in white. Um, I, my first term in the binomial, I raised to the fourth power. So there's one to the fourth. I did not write root 3i to the 0th, because anything to the 0th is 1, so I just didn't write it in the first term. Um, and then I reduced the power on the 1, so this is 1 cubed. And I raised the power on root 3i from what was 0 here, now it's a 1. And so you notice this exponent on the root 3i is climbing from 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 by the time you get over here. So we're following the exact same pattern we followed before. Well, so this actually is the, the answer, the expansion, apart from just simplifying it. Um, so we'll do that super quick. Um, this first term basically ends up making one of the fifths. That's one. Here we have four, but then times root three i to the first. Well, so that's four root three i. Here we have a six times root three squared, which, well, root three squared would be three, but then i squared is negative one. So we basically have six times negative three. That's negative 18. Um, and you can check the other two terms, but this is what you would get. And then if we collect 
um, all the real numbers and the imaginary numbers, you get this result for um, 1 plus root 3i to the fourth power. All right, so hopefully that helps get used to using Pascal's triangle. Um, again, begin with a 1, uh, two ones underneath, and then start this pattern where you add um, two numbers and then kind of diagonally down put their sum. So here, for instance, 1 plus 2 will give you 3, and 2 plus 1 gives you 3. Hope you enjoy.